Hey everyone and welcome back to another Cooking with Positive Smash. I hope you guys are all having a great night tonight. We are going to be making some fettuccine alfredo. It was supposed to be vegan, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> what you're going to need for this is Parmesan if you're using that, if not nutritional yeast. Some butter, if not vegan butter. Some milk, if not almond milk, coconut milk, whatever you want to use, garlic, cauliflower, pasta, lemon, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, well garlic granules. So I will tilt you guys down and we will start taking apart the cauliflower and we'll also dice up the garlic and otherwise the only thing to really do in this meal is cook the pasta. So very easy meal. I'll tilt you guys down and we'll get into that cauliflower. Okay, so we've got our cauliflower. What I do is I go around the base and cut off the leaves or the stem or whatever you want to call it. The bottom. I thought that this would be helpful rather than just showing you cauliflower cut up, showing you how I actually do it. Because the first time I did it, I was like, how the hell do I get into this cauliflower? You cut into the base. And you'll see it pop out of here, just like that. Let me take the remaining leaves off, and the florets kind of just pop off. I cut the bases off a little more. So I'm just going to do that over and over again until we are left with just cauliflower in a bowl. <laughs> Okay. I sometimes forget that like I can't just, well I can just sit here and think, but that is a boring ass video if I just sit here and think, ponder to myself the wonders of the world. Okay, and now I will get a water bowl and And I'll move all of this shit out of the way. Okay, so now I've got my garlic cloves. I'm going to go like that. It's a very easy way of skinning them, but please be careful. Because you are putting your hand on top of a knife. That can be quite dangerous. Okay, I cut off the bottom. this up. Okay, now we got our garlic minced up. What we're also going to need is a tablespoon of lemon. So, I'm going to say it's about that much. And since it's my own fettuccine, I can make it as lemony as I want. <laughs> Alright, the water just came to a boil. We're going to stick our cauliflower florets in there. down just a schmidge. Uh, those are going to cook three, four minutes ish. So I'm going to clean up our work surface and we will come back with some cooked cauliflower. Okay, so I think our cauliflower is pretty, 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 pretty fork 
tender in the fact that like some of these just you just slide the fork in and there's no resistance they don't stick in there they kind of just pop back out it's kind of like a potato in that sense okay so we got our blender and this I'm once we're in here I'm going to speed it up because it's gonna get really loud and I'm gonna do it for several minutes oh crap and I never hold on we're going to saute this garlic real quick totally forgot about that but that only takes seconds so not not that big of a deal okay get that heated up heated up heated up add the cauliflower to the blender the garlic the milk the yeast put the garlic away or the uh, milk away so i'll have to get that back out I really used a tiny four heaping cups this is not even like two cups so I'm gonna use um, three tablespoons of milk to start off with four tablespoons is a quarter of a cup and a quarter of a cup would be half of a half a cup um, you know what I mean okay. Give me a second I'll saute this too hot, too hot. Okay. And we can add a little bit more once we blend it up and see where we're at. Bowl three. I'm going to want a tablespoon of lemon juice. Wait, are we putting it all in at first? Yes, we're putting it all in. Garlic. Let's see, it's sauteed. Okay, turn it off. I'm going to put in butter. How much of the quarter teaspoon of both of these? So I'm just going to kind of wrinkle. Oh, shit. Sprinkle. Ugh. Got freaking onion all over my hand. Um, I was looking at how much a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, but again, I'm using Parmesan and actually there's a little bit of bad parmesan on top, so let me get rid of that in the sink real quick. It's weird, it looks like pepper is in here or something, like, it's not mold. Weird. Heck. Okay. One. I can't tell. I don't think it's mold. <laughs> this worries me. No, it's fine. It's just weird. I don't know what, what it is. It's definitely not past its expiration date or anything. Missing anything? Garlic, milk, cheese, lemon juice, onion, garlic powder, salt, and pepper is the last. And then I've got the water heating up for our fattuccine. I like mine peppery. You guys know I love my pepper. And I also could have done some sauteed mushrooms with this that probably would have been bomb I didn't even think of that okay I'm starting it up I will speed this up and mute the sound or lower the sound
Okay, already. Already I'm seeing that we're gonna need more milk. Okay, and if you guys saw, I added two tablespoons of hot water just to kind of get it going even more. Let's try it. Mmm. That's good. Okay. More salt. For sure. The rest of that lemon. do another tablespoon of hot water and maybe a splash more milk. It really doesn't need more milk. Maybe I'll even put a little bit more butter in there. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Butter's never bad. And I've got the pasta going over there. I almost hit on, but it wouldn't have turned on anyways. This is about to open. Yeah, now it looks really creamy. Woo! Salt brought it to life. Mmm. I can't wait to eat. This would make a good soup. Mmm. <laughs> that was good. Okay. I'm going to add just a little bit of pepper. I like pepper. Spin it right round. Baby, right round. One more time. Okay. The pasta just needs another minute and a half. That sauce is done. Da -da -dun -dun -dun. So, move this over here for when it is ready. I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. Okay, pasta just got done. So I'm going to pour the sauce onto it. Definitely don't need all of it, but... It's better to have more sauce than not enough. So I'm just going to kind of heat it up again. Okay. So that's it. Very easy. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Really good. Okay. I'm going to tilt you guys up and say goodbye. 
If you guys enjoyed tonight's Cooking with Positive Smash, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you like to see more. I make new videos every single day. And thank you so much, Shannon, Shaney Hickey, for sending me this delicious recipe. And if you guys have any recipes you would like me to try, leave them, leave them in the comment section down below. I will see you guys tomorrow for another Cooking with Positive Smash. Bye.